Hey, welcome back to Everything Fly Fishing, our fly fishing community. And in this video, we are going to tie a March Brown with a couple changes. So make sure you watch this video because these are going to be coming off eventually. So you got to get them tied. It won't be long, a couple weeks. So make sure you watch this video. And couple things I like to announce is if you're watching this on Facebook make sure you go down there and click that little YouTube thing there's a little thing that says YouTube down there make sure you click that and go check and subscribe help us grow our community subscribe and at any time you like this video give it a thumbs up and always thank you for being here so I say on to the fly Get a grip on your bad self, learn to love the game. Get on down to the roulette wheel, and pray that the end comes and wheels will win its way. The hotel's not alive, and the mystery's not the why. Oh no, the silk is not the cry. No, it's the love, and it's the love. We start this fly by debarbing the hook, and we debarb all our hooks here at Everything Fly Fishing for two reasons. If you ever get a hook in your finger, you'll understand why, and it makes the fish easy to retreat, re, uh, let go. Sorry about that. We're going to start with a light tan thread, and the thread will match our dubbing perfectly. And I'll explain to you that why later. I'm going to run our thread all the way back to where, to the back, run it back up to where we're going to start the wing, head cement it. Oh crap, I almost forgot to show you the hook again. I'll show you the hook right here. That's the hook we're going to use. So you run your thread back up there to where you're going to start the wing. Now we're going to use wing material again from up and down. The link will be below where you can order your wings. They're really cheap for big bag wings. And I love the color that matches the wing colors of most mayflies. So we're going to use them. If not, you could use wood duck. You can go back and watch one of my older videos where I actually use wood duck. So you could check out my old videos and tell you how to do the figure eight and everything. But for this video, we're going to use the up and down wing. Now we're going to measure the wing and then go back to that tie in spot and tie this wing in. And you'll notice if, especially when you order these wings, uh, if you don't, you'll see a little black spot on the back of the wing. You just clip this off so you can make like a ramp going up to that spot down to your tail. Now you do the same thing with wood duck. You're gonna put thread wraps in the front of this wing, to make it stand up. And then you're gonna do a figure eight in between the wing. See the thing about the wing is, they're already divided. So when you tie them on, they're already divided. It's easy to split the wing. And then you just do a figure eight to separate them like you would a wood duck or any other material you'd use as a wing. Is 
Now we're gonna take exactly three black deer hair tail fibers and tie them in as the tail. And the mayfly has exactly three. Now let's go back to the picture and see what color its tails are right here. Yep, like I said, three black tail fibers. And then most people tell you to tie it with red and grizzly. Or brown and grizzly. Okay. If you notice, I measured the length of the tail for the shank of the hook, held that where I would usually tie it in, and then tied it in right behind the wing. This is I'm building up that kind of that tapered body for when I dub it. And then you take this, wrap that all the way back to the bend of the hook, and then pull one wrap under the tail and pull the thread forward and then your wing will go off like at an angle. And that's how they sit in the water with their tails kind of flared up in the air. Now what I'm gonna do here is add thread wraps to make that body taper, a smoother taper. Now, here's the dubbing I used for this fly. Now, let me tell you something that's very important. This year, when you're out dry fly fishing, take a, a March Brown, a sulfur, every one of these mayflies as you can, and I will do it here. Watch this channel, and I will do it here. Take a picture of the belly. See, this is the match of the belly in our area. But your bellies of your March Brown might be different color. It depends on the season. You might want to tie them in different shades. See what the belly color is. Because I used to tie my March Browns brown. And the bellies aren't brown. The bellies are tan. Let's go check it out. Look at this fly. Now I still use a red, or sorry, I'm saying red, mart or a brown feather, and I'm gonna gauge it. Now you don't want that feather to go below the hook. And then gauge the grizzly. Now we're gonna tie them in together and we strip the end of it and we're gonna strip about a quarter inch. We're gonna leave a little bit so when we start wrapping it, our feather will be lined up right. And then we're gonna wrap and we're gonna tie it off up to the eyelet. So we're gonna leave a little bit up so that we can wrap thread wraps to tie it, make sure you secure the feather down. Now we're gonna head cement the bottom of the fly. Now you see that thread matches that underbody or the belly. And that is how it is on the fly. It don't go from light to dark brown or black there. So you make sure you match the thread closest you can is to the dubbing. Now I'm gonna start with the red. I always start with the red, wrap that first and add the grizzly to pick the color I like. And it's three wraps of, I do three wraps of red behind the wing, two wraps in front, and then when you come through with two wraps behind the wing with the grizzly, and one wrap in front of the wing with the grizzly, and tie them both off. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm stuck on red. Brown. I'm tying the brown, then the grizzly, wrap it.
after I tie that feather off, you notice I like, always like to pull back on all the hackle fibers and do a couple thread wraps. That'll get them to like stand straight up. I don't like them all hanging out front. Now, if you got any ha hackle fibers, it happens. You trap them down. Kind of, I would like to trim them off and get them away so I can get my head all neat. Now, whip finish it. Head cement it. And here's a little trick I like to do. Take the tip of your whip finisher and stick down in the eyelet after you head cement it. And this will keep your eyelet free so you're ready to tie on when you get to the water. Now here we're taking a closer look at the fly once it's completed. And how it looks up close. And tie yourself some up. Hey, thank you for watching our video all the way. I hope you like that March Brown. And like I said, during that video, make sure you always like we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll show you how you do it in our upcoming videos so check that out we'll take pictures of the flies we're trying to get we're trying to make better videos as time goes by um we i know we announced that the channel was three years old but we only really been making videos for a year and uh somebody commented a while back on my, one of my videos and said it was grainy um that's because we want to keep the old videos that well let me tell you let me ask you what you think in the comments below make a comment do you think we should keep our old videos to show improvement or get rid of them because they look bad? Comment and tell us. And uh, like I always say, welcome to our community, our fly fishing community. And always subscribe. Our subscribe numbers help so much. You guys help so much. I'll give you an example. And here is an announcement that you all must might be waiting for. Next Sunday, we're going to do another live live uh, stream where you can ask questions, comment, tell me I'm an idiot, whatever you want to do. Now, on this, at the end of the video, you'll notice you can't see what people are saying. To add that, it's called Super Chat. And to add that feature so that when the video is done, you can see the comments everybody made and other features like you can... Uh, Donate like a dollar and your name stays at the top of the page so I can see your comment and all kinds of other features. Has to have a thousand subscribers. We're getting there fast. We're going like a tidal wave. All like just in the last year, our channel went from 50 to 300. I think what 380. That's going crazy. I better figure out something for the 500 subscriber giveaway quick because it's going quick. You guys are just telling everybody it's going crazy. I never thought it'd go this good. So thank you. But that, I mean, that's just one little example of how our subscribers make a difference. Um, when we go to like post fly box, a lot of them are like less than a thousand subscribers don't bother. Um, so, and we're going to start a channel where you can go and buy stuff that we recommend off of Amazon. Rods, reels, um, jackets, all kinds of stuff. So watch for that to come. I don't have a website yet. I haven't sold anything on any website yet. 
and this will help us keep the channel growing for you make you better videos so I think that's the end of my announcements so yeah oh I wanted to say that I'm sorry to the people that I didn't announce last YouTube live excuse me it was a test run we're seeing how it went went pretty good most of you people don't know that uh, it took us three startups to get it right until we would go live. So if we would announce that and you had to wait around for half an hour while we figured it out and how to get live, we had, you guys would have been really mad. So next Sunday, this is Monday, next Sunday, watch for that. And please show up. We'll do it about 1 o'clock. And thank you for always watching the end of our videos. Hey, welcome to the end of video. Well, you can watch our tying videos here, our fishing videos here, one just for you right there, and subscribe right here. And this is very important that you do this if you're watching this video and you haven't yet. Thank you. Keep your lines wet, out of the trees, and only give them fish a sore lip.